Okay, simple little video today. Um, I've just built this picket gate and that is in a separate video. But one thing I always do with garden gates, uh, especially around the veg garden and the chicken run, is just to install one of these little gate springs. Um, basically the chickens, if there's a way out, they'll find it. And the, the kids are never good enough <laughs> at shutting gates. They're great at opening them and doing chores, but after they finish, they're off. So um, they're just easy enough to put on. And it just means that the wind uh, won't blow these gates open enough. Uh, so even if it wasn't on the latch, uh, it'll be held open. Uh, there's a, no kind of fixed way of doing this really. You can go through one of the holes of the gate um, hinge, but I'm just gonna put it below there so we can just use wood screws and put the bottom down there and then you can tension it. Now on the chicken one, I've moved it around a few times and I lost the little uh, pegs that go in the end there. So sometimes you can get lucky by just putting a little bit of a bend on it and screwing it in either end and that'll tension it fine. But today we've got a new one so we can set it up properly. So we'll sit it just under the gate there. As I speak, the chickens on that side of the gate are looking to get in. There's the wind blowing it open as it is. And you basically get these little steel pegs, galvanized pegs. What you need to do is pop one into one of the holes. You can twist the spring to enable you to get it in. And then by the time you let go, it kind of locks in place and just traps it under tension. Now up top, you can use the little bar they give you and you can twist it to put tension on it. So if I was to let go, you can see it just springs back. So what we want to do is just put the tension on, put a peg in this side, and that will just stop it from swinging back and hold the spring under tension. You can see it holds itself and then shuts. We'll get the gate catch put on shortly, which will hold it in place when it's shut. So the other reason for my design here uh, by having two gates is as so uh, they would collide which ordinarily you wouldn't want but the reason I've done it is so that our veg garden um, garden farm gate is nice and wide easy for wheelbarrows and things like that but we can actually latch it to the other chicken run gate during no it's just an example during the winter and the times where we want to give the chickens the full reign of the lawn and the garden in the summer, they stay in here and they just get fed all the veg scraps and everything uh, throughout. So that they kind of stay put. But in the winter, it'd be nice to be able to create this corridor and leave them away from the veg garden. So um, yeah, hang, hang on. All right, I haven't actually got a latch yet, guys. All right backfired hang on just hold hold your horses no stay right no you stay back in back in come on no 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 come on girls back in it's just a little taste of freedom ah, no, no. I'm serious. Don't misbehave now you're on camera. In. Don't even think about it, ducks. Oh, you pooed on my path. All right, you get the idea. It will work. There we go, another little job done. A very short tips video, I guess you might call it. Um, but well worth uh, doing if you've got kids and pets and things and you want to keep them in place. Uh, the girls are great at coming and doing their chores and things like that in the morning, but you know, leaving, uh, putting the gate back on the, on the latch is the last of their thoughts when they're running in with a bowl of strawberries or something. So that kind of just takes the guesswork out of it. We'll have the catch on there shortly and that should keep everyone where they should be. Gate build and install video will be out shortly as well. So thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.